Hey, welcome to another episode of Chazzy Reviews. Another episode already, 24 hours since I shot the last one. <laughs> so it's been a long time since we've done an IPA or like anything relatively normal on the show. Not that this beer is entirely normal, but let's give it a go here. This is the Treehouse Brewing Sap. Treehouse is out of Monson, Massachusetts. I forget where in the state that is, but they're like they're like the next Hill Farmstead, from what I understand. Like this is the brewery now. Everybody's lining up at two in the morning for growler fills and cases, and I don't know if you can get cases there. I love this. It's just like a plain silver can. They just slap a sticker on there. I mean, that's efficient packing. I gotta say that. So this is an IPA that's brewed. It says almost exclusively with Chinook hops. So I don't know what the other or other hops are um 7.3 abv 80 ibus according to untapped so let's get in the glass here yeah i mean it smells i mean you can see the it's like pine needles definitely it's pine needles but it's also like really tropical like juicy like that juicy like classic um New England style IPA, which they tend to be like taste very, very tropical or smell tropical and taste very grassy. This smells, yeah, now that like I'm really thinking about it, it's just like it's almost all tropical fruit juice. I mean, I definitely get that kind of uh, resiny Chinook character in there. If you've ever had Arrogant Bastard, like that's a good Chinook hop example beer. So let's dig in here. Cheers. Mm. Yep, classic, classic New England style IPA. You know the the juicy, the juicy aroma and like the well, usually they're more like uh, grassy or like herbal character. Like you ever had Hetty Topper? Um, and the many many uh, incarnations of that brewed by their breweries. Um, that's a good example of what I mean. This was more, I mean, like, it definitely smells tropical. And I do get tropical fruits, like, right at first. But then it just kind of changes on a dime into more, like, kind of dank, sappy, piney character. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of juicy up front, almost like orange juice. And then, like I said, just kind of changes, like, then it gets like really astringent and um, I don't know. It's like that Chinook character. It's so hard to describe. It's like maybe I might say abrasive, but that sounds like it's like a bad thing. I don't mean that like as a you know a, 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 as a put down or a criticism or something like that. Almost like um, smoky or something like that. There's certain IPAs that like they almost have like a, like a burnt rubber kind of thing going. I'm not saying that's what's going on with this one. I'm just saying like it's relatively in the ballpark. Pretty consistent bitterness. Um, 80, I mean, assuming that's the real number, I don't even know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you know, pretty high. It's uh, 7.3. Yeah, 7.3 ABV. So, I mean... Probably would consider that a single IPA. I think they're they're marketing it as a as a single IPA. Um, yeah, so it, pretty. The body is like all their beers are, from what I understand, they're unfiltered. They also reviewed the um, green, which uh, was also well, that was fantastic. It looked like an orange milkshake or something in the in the glass because it was like so unfiltered. It was like almost white because like it was so. You know, still had all the yeast sediment and everything still in it. Um, this has a very similar mouthfeel to that. Like, it's pretty full. But it's very soft, smooth, comfortable texture. Refreshing while it's in the mouth. They use, like, just a like, slight kind of dry aftertaste, but otherwise it's pretty clean. No, uh, no plugs. I did it on the last one. That's probably what I'll do from now on. Is every other video will have the, the plug. There you go. There's the plug by my book. Where I book first steps. All right, let's rate this thing. Uh, for aroma, 
That's great. Uh, I'm going to go 9 out of 10 on Aroma. Love that piney smell and also the tropical character. For appearance, I mean, look at that lacing. That's gorgeous. That's definitely a 5 out of 5 on, on uh, appearance. Uh, for taste... Definitely better than your average IPA. Not quite as, you know, absolutely mind-blowing as some of the fantastic examples, but still really, really, really flavorful beer. I like it. Uh, 9 out of 10 on taste. For palate, again, I'm going to go 5 out of 5. Uh, you know, just really comfortable mouthfeel, easy to drink, 7.5. Like, there's, there's no alcohol. You can't taste, smell, really feel the alcohol. I mean, it's definitely a full-bodied beer, but it's not like... A behemoth or anything like it's really it's really quaffable uh overall let's see here i'm gonna go i'll give it a 17 out of 20 which is a total score of 4.5 which is another 10 out of 10 or i gave the green i think a 4.6 but the sap is almost as good so if you see either of these i think you have to go to the brewery to get them uh, oh, I forgot to mention, thanks to Jason, who gave me uh, these two cans, plus Night Shift and Eddie Topper, and, and there was one other beer in there. So, yeah, check out the blog. You'll see the credit due to him. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 for Treehouse Sap IPA, or just Sap. That's a good name, Treehouse Sap, you know. Um, yeah, so this episode, I'm sorry I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Cheers.